fellow fuck butts, Java the Circle here, and I've got a story to share with you guys. Okay, so this dates back just a couple of years ago, back when I was still in middle school. I would say that wasn't a couple of years ago, because that was in like 2007, and here it is 2016, so that was quite a bit of time ago, but we won't get into that right now. <laughs> anyway, me and my friend at the time, you know, driving the guy that was in the, uh, the uh, Jelly Bean, the uh, Jelly Belly Bean Boozle Challenge type thing via the vape guy or whatever. Yeah, me and him, you know, we're just kind of romping down the street going to a store because, you know, when you're in middle school and it's the weekend, there's a store that lives, <laughs> a store that lives. And you live down the street from a store, then you kind of spend a lot of time going there because, you know, we were full of vim and vigor and we wanted to, like, try to stay up the entire weekend, which is very unhealthy, but hey, we tried to do it and... You know, we're just like back up on energy drinks and we're playing games and, you know, messaging people on MySpace. That shows you how long ago this was. This was back when MySpace was popular. <laughs> so, yeah, we'd be messaging people on MySpace and stuff, just trying to stay up. And then on one such excursion, when we decided to go to the store, you know, we're just romping down there, you know, having our little talks or whatever. And then out of nowhere... <laughs> We like see this random dark figure just kind of bouncing through the field. It was like way far off. Like it wasn't like anywhere close to. It's like we were walking down the street. And you know, if you live in, you know, the sticks of North Carolina, you know that there are a lot of fields and just random empty spaces for no reason. With no generalized plan for anything to fill that space. It's just space to be space. <laughs> and like we're just sitting there, you know, Walking, going back to my house, you know, we see that little dark figure. You know, we're, we're like pointing at it, you know, stuff like that, just talking about it. And then, me being the funny person that I am, I was like, yo, is that Bigfoot? And as soon as I said that, the figure like stopped and it like looked at us. <laughs> it was weird because it's like it just paused in its tracks. As soon as I said, is that Bigfoot? It just paused and like looked at us. And as soon as that happened, me and Dryden, we just freaked out and booked it. Like, as soon as we saw it, it stopped and looked at us, and then it started walking. I don't know if it walked towards us, away from us, kept doing what it was doing, but as soon as it stopped, looked at us, and then started to move again, we just all but nope, 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 and we just booked it as fast as we could. We just ran and ran from, like, that street all the way to my house, which is like, Probably a couple of miles, <laughs> but we were jacked up on energy drinks and stuff like that, so we just kind of ran and ran. We didn't look back. We didn't know what was going on. We are just like, yo, we think we saw Bigfoot. We have no idea what that was, but as soon as we said that key word, it reacted to it, and then it did a thing, and we're like, nope, we're not going to have this happen. We're, we end up missing on a search for Bigfoot because we're walking down some normal empty road in the sticks of North Carolina <laughs> and so like as soon as we got back to the house we're just sitting there panting and sweating and stuff and he's like yo what was that I'm like I have no idea I think we just saw Bigfoot and then <laughs> and he was like I didn't know that they had Bigfoot sightings in North Carolina I'm like oh yeah they definitely do they call them Nobby around here <laughs> And so, we have reason to believe that we did indeed see Nobby, <laughs> or what we thought was Nobby. If it wasn't, then we don't know there's this random, like, 9, 10 foot guy just walking down in the middle of a field. It's like the grassy field where they're growing, like, corn or something. I don't know what they were doing. Yeah, they're just walking down there doing their thing, and as soon as we say, is that Bigfoot? It wants to stop and look at us like, hey, maybe it is Bigfoot. What you got to say about that? And we did not have anything to say about that. We're just like, whoa, no, no, no. We're going to let you keep doing what you're doing. But we are going to get out of here. <laughs> and that's exactly what we did. Never ran so fast in my life. Never ran so far in my life. Never ran so constantly in my life. Never been that afraid in my life. <laughs> But all these things came together and we ran like we were on a track and field team trying to win a championship. Oh my God. <laughs> and to this day, have not been on that street for one and have not seen another sighting of Bigfoot or Nobby or 
Abominable snowman, whatever you want to call them, it's all the same thing. Just different names, different cultures, different areas, different places. Huh. But we survived. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And if you guys have seen any weird things like that, go ahead and, you know, post some comments down there in the dibbly below. That way I can read those stories and see just what you guys have encountered in your past. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So... If you like this video, go ahead and scratch that like button so that I can know to post more awful content in the future. You want to talk to me? Have some Twitter. You want to stay updated so let's know what next Q&A is going to be? Have for affinity. Want to draw fan artists out of the circle? Fan art is always welcome. Keep it clean. Nah. But as always, my name is Abba the Circle, and I'm out of here. <laughs> blah, 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 blah.